Hello, welcome to the 28th tutorial in the Cocos 2 djs version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at the sequence action. We'll be using the source code from the 7th part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2 djs provides us with loads of useful functionality to manipulate nodes. Most things in Cocos 2 djs are nodes such as sprites and menu items. We have looked at using actions, even looked at repeating actions, but you will most likely want to chain actions back to back so once one has finished, the next one will start and so forth. Luckily there is an easy to use sequence action for chaining or action back to back, uh, allowing you to create some really cool stuff. So let's go ahead and open up our app.js and that is where our current layer is. First thing we will do is just create two regular actions, so I'm going to do bar sprite, not prompt. Sprite underscore action again, doesn't really matter what you name it. Uh, CC dot move by again. This tutorial isn't to show you the move by method, we already discussed that, but we're just going to create a couple of actions and run them to, to show you what happens. Let's go move it by CC dot P 50 by 100. And what I'm going to do is copy and paste this. I'm going to change a few things. I'm going to Call this sprite action two. I'm going to use the fade two action here, and all I need is zero. And I'm going to fade it to zero. Technically, I could have just used the fade out action, but it doesn't really matter. So now what we're going to do is run the action. So sprite dot run action sprite action. And let's put action to save it. Open up our terminal. CD to our project directory. Run our project. And now, once our browser pops up, as you can see, it moved and faded at the same time. Basically, because these are about two seconds, and they initiated pretty much at the same time. So it started moving and it started fading out as well. This is fine if you want both of them to run at the same time, but if you're looking for a result where one occurs and then only when that one is fully finished, the other one starts, then you use sequences. And we're just going to show you how to implement sequences. So do var sequence action. Again, this is another action, but it contains other actions equals cc dot sequence dot create and what you specify in, the, in here is basically your actions and you specify it in the order that you want them to run so I'm going to do action and sport action 2 so this one will be run first so it's going to move it by 50 pixels in the x-axis 100 pixels in the y-axis over a period of 2 seconds so after 2 seconds sport action 2 will be run aka it will fade it to 0 over a period of 2 seconds we can get rid of one of these run actions change this to sequence action and now if we go back to our browser refresh I can see it's moving and it only started fading out once it got to the end of the previous action little thing to note you can't reuse actions for different nodes you either need to create a new one or release the old one and construct it again recommended you just create a new action for the different nodes the next tutorial will cover plain sound effects if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube or the required links or source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day